welcome back to this new video guys as we all know we've talked about the setting up we've talked about the my bees we've set up all the things here under the my bees section so in this area we are going to add a domain to it the domain is going to make the website look exactly like this you know we can make it store we can make it shop we can make it anything we want so i'm just going to follow this example and show you how it's going to work so now to do that let's go to the add social icon just to enter the my b section you can click this area too if you just want to use that area then you click on the domain so in the dom in the domain area we are using this for now which makes the website look like this but we need to use our own domain so you select this so the instruction they give you is to go to your website to go under dns settings then add an a record after the area record, you put your domain name, which is going to be your host name. Tower is going to point to this and set, set the TTL to 600. Then after that, you put the subdomain you put here, then your domain name here. So now for this example, we are going to use something. Let me, let me go to our own server quickly. I'll quickly go to our server here. Okay. Now here is our server. What we have to look for here is our DNS. Probably your own might be different. If you are using GoDaddy, you have to log in into GoDaddy. There are some areas you have to get to your DNS. But this is for nameship. You understand? So under the zone editor, and we go to under manage here to make it what we are about to do to make it show well. So the instruction said a record. Okay, it's going to point to this area okay good add a record then a record so now under this section we are going to make it the domain like the subdomain we are going to use so let's make it shop you, you see what happened immediately i click out so let me do it again so just shop then i click out you see it's filling with the domain by itself automatically so now it's going to point to this which we've copied before you can also use control and paste into the area so we are asked to set this to which is the ttl to 600 you see it's kind of very easy that way then we put it here ttl to 600 if we add the record now it's going to be added successfully so we just have to wait a little bit for it to propagate then we add it into our server so let's quickly add it into our server and wait for it to propagate copy the domain name which we are going to put here let's exclude the other things around it very good now the subdomain we create is shop then we save that's just what we need to do immediately after we save it we we wait a bit for it to propagate then we check okay let's check now and see if our domain is working and let's reload this also okay as you can see guys everything is all set we reload this and it's loading up our design which is what we've been designing here the little design we've made so as you can see it's there it's very easy it's there now and also this one too is there so everything looks very fine now no other things to be set our domain has been connected very easy with that so in our next tutorial we are going to talk about how to connect uh payment integration like from example it's nigeria so since i'm from nigeria i'm going to be using paystack as my example so the tutorial is going to base on how to use how to connect paystack with the tutorial is going to base on how to connect paystack with what arch coming up guys and guys i think it's the right time to talk about this if you are following this tutorial step by step section by section i believe you are enjoying it that's why you are doing that 
please kindly subscribe to the channel it's going to be a plus and motivate me to keep doing a tutorial video like this please kindly sub guys thank you